Hey y'all, this is Octavius the Great. Coming to you again on this Tuesday. I want y'all to check out this video that's on IG from the DTR360 books on IG. Muhammad Ali makes valid points. So I'm finna play this for y'all. I want y'all um, to enjoy this. And just take in what Muhammad Ali said. White people are cultures different from black people. Puerto Ricans and Indonesians cannot integrate. Egyptians and Germans cannot integrate. Australians and Mexicans cannot integrate. They have different foods. They have different music, different cultures. See, you white and I'm black. If white people have a party tonight and black people have a party, the party will be 100% different. The music. I go in a white restaurant. We integrate today, white. Right? You go in a white restaurant, you got to look all day on the jukebox to find some music. No, 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 no. In our know. party, we'll have Aretha Franklin, oh, Stevie let me, Wonder. Let me, let me tell you now. If I go... Well, jukebox in a white restaurant, anybody black Italian here, you got to look all over that box for some black music. Hank Snow, uh, uh, Johnny Cash, uh, all, Josh kind White. Of, all kind of names I ain't never heard of. You know, when that train comes around that mountain. <laughs> So what I'm saying is, uh, 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 they don't know what that music, but that fits the white culture. You go in our joints, oh baby, don't leave. Oh, I cried all night. Who's that running out of my back door, honey? Oh, but see, those are our problems. So we can't integrate. We ain't gonna never have no peace. The culture, the nature's different. I don't hate you. We can eat in your restaurant. We want to marry your women. We got your women now. It ain't nothing we can't do today. But these things the dog got. I see dogs on television eating out of the same plate with white people. I see dogs in the buses, and they do everything with the dogs. So I ain't getting nothing the dog ain't got. So really, ain't nothing in this integration. I need some land. I need some jobs. My people need jobs. We need some something so we can build and do for ourselves. And we must have some land. 40 million people. You know, it's a lot of Negroes just in New York and Cleveland, Baltimore, Washington, California. It's a lot of black. Ooh, that's a whole nation. 40 million, man. They don't tell you the truth about that. They want to stop having babies. They I give them birth control. Million. They're paying black women. It's 40 million, not now. 20 million? Yeah, they're paying black women not to have babies now. They got all kinds of plans to stop our race. Well, we, every, so when we know all this, getting into so now a man, with, a man with my knowledge, what can you tell a man like me now? What should, what's your suggestion? That's your question. Okay, you're talking to me, not a dumb Negro or a poke shop eater. Don't know the truth. I'm free now. I woke up. Now, what are you going to tell me now? I done gave you my solution. Some land of my own, doing something for myself like you, England, and America do. Now, I know you're not against the black man. I know you're not against me having my land, are you? Not I know you so. English to rule and slave forever for a long time, but do you do you still today don't want me to have my own country and build for myself and govern myself? Would you think that's bad if we thought like that? I well, what's your solution to my problem? 1974, then you all just some white men just flew from New York to England in an hour, less than two hours. You all are so progressive. You're walking around on other planets. Now, today, I'm intelligent too now. What do you what what's your suggestion? What should be my movement? Integrate? Yeah, equal rights in a mixed society. In this society, where you still own the government, you still own the train station, the railroad plant, the lecture plant, these television cameras, you still make all the food, you control everything, and I'm like a leech on a dog's back. All I can do is just wait for you. I can't do nothing for myself. Integrate and in your society don't mean I'm doing nothing for myself. You're doing it all. I want to do something for myself. I'm tired of depending on you. You might get broke one day. Your stores might close. Your gas pumps might cut off again. I'm relying on you now. Can I have my own? own land and country well you've got your own freedom here for instance i know you're luckier than many black oh, people I'm in america but nation. you're your own I'm boss for my nation i know i appreciate if I was that. representing just me i wouldn't be talking like this because i got it made i'm talking for my brothers but i just country. don't see how well, I, mean, I don't see, see how you can slice up america into bits and get well, all the whites in one area and all the blacks well, in another we, then we leave then we get to we leave but they'd miss you i know it When I say that was an amazing interview, um, especially in the last two minutes, like you see, um, as he said, with 1974, that is what, um, 47 years, 47 years ago. So it shows you that ain't nothing changed for real, for real. The only thing that had changed is people like Muhammad Ali, who was out there 
uh, speaking for their people, not speaking for themselves, but speaking for their people and looking for freedom for their people. He, you heard him what he said, what about land, what about jobs? Um, let's put LeBron James in the mix right quick. Like last year, his main thing was talking about voting rights, voting rights, but you ain't talking about um, getting jobs for your people or helping out your people. Cause at the end of the day, a lot of these athletes and celebrities ain't got that same fire that many of the athletes and celebrities had back then because those celebrities and uh, athletes were living through the true racism of people being attacked, um, not being able to stay at certain hotels, uh, life being in danger, period, traveling through the South performing because there were threats from the KKK and other races. And also probably threats from other black people too, because you got to remember too, everybody black ain't down for the cause. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and took something from it and understand that the people that we have, that we see as black excellent are not really excellent. At the end of the day, a lot of them haven't done anything for us for real, for real. A couple people got put out, uh, got out of jail, uh, had a couple of charities here and there, but at the end of the day, there's an, there hasn't been an effective change to help our people along the way. Now, they had to shut Muhammad Ali up. They had to shut him up because he was one of the voices that did not care. He went to jail, lost his uh, championship belts because he refused to fight Vietnam, Vietnam because he said, ain't no, uh, ain't no chink called me a nigger. And which is true, he was point of, and same thing with a lot of black people who are in the armed forces, who are in the police, police, um, positions, why are you doing these things when well, you know it has been a tool uh, used against your people and other people in the world? And obviously, you joining the force hasn't helped anybody. Yeah, actually caused more terror, and most time black black people are the biggest terrorists in the world when, it, when they're in those type of positions because they feel like they got something to prove. You're no longer black, you're blue, you know. So I hope this video um, make you think and make you um, reevaluate our plight when it comes down to celebrity, when it comes down to the black struggle, and when it comes down to integration. Because at the end of the day, I like is like what he said. Like overall, uh, all of us are very dependent on the system by our white supremacy. So what he said is true. If they lose, uh, if they go broke, if they uh, let your grid go out, if all these things go out, what are we gonna do? We won't be able to do anything because we don't have any system of control or have our own to be separate from these people, especially if doom and gloom hit. And you see little pieces of doom and gloom is hitting, especially like with this pandemic. If we had our own, we'd be able to take care of ourselves instead of depending on the government for $1,400 or depending on the government waiting eight months for $600, you know. This always been the game with, with um, the government, like sitting up here screwing the people over and, you know, BSing with integra integration and stuff. They didn't want, they, people didn't want integration for real, for real. A lot of people wish it went back to segregation because for real, for real, black people were better off and we were more independent and families stayed together. Now the fact that we had integra integration, now you have the government even more so in your business separating families. You had welfare who sat up here and broke up the family because you couldn't have the man in the, man in the house. That led to a bigger, a bigger problem, making a lot of men feel inadequate and taking care of their family, take care of themselves. So what does that lead to? They lead to drugs, they lead to alcohol, they lead to abuses, they lead, lead to all types of isms that we deal with to this day. So a lot of things trickle, always trickle back down to slavery and white supremacy. This is the cause for everything. And like he said by England, England has been enslaved and been racist for centuries. You know, you think that type of stuff gonna end right away? And no matter if they do have a half black um, princess. So that was just a little history lesson. I hope y'all enjoyed, enjoyed it. And let me know what you think. Comment, share, uh, subscribe. My name is Octavius the Great, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. All right, so long.